cataract surgery has progressed dramatically over the years. We asked Dr. Roger Ohanisian of Harvard Eye Associates about the history of this sight improving procedure. Ophthalmology has really progressed quite a bit. The, uh, the procedure had been one that years ago when cataracts had developed, and a, uh, a needle was placed against the surface of the eye and then within the eye to uh, push the lens back into the back part of the eye. After that was done, a pair of eyeglasses were given that, that took the place of the lens. It wasn't as good as the patient had prior to the development of the cataract, but at least it was better than the opaque image that they had uh, at the time of the cataract. So it, it has evolved to the point where now uh, cataract surgery is being done that will replicate the condition that you had prior to the development of the cataract and actually even when you were quite youthful. Small incision surgery started really with the phaco emulsification back in the uh, 70s where we made a small three millimeter incision into the eye and found that uh, we would then have to expand it to six millimeters to be able to put the lens implant in because the lens implant was six millimeters in diameter. Later on, a representative of the lens companies developed a lens that could fold and could be placed in through the three millimeter incision. We found that that reduced the astigmatism tremendously. In addition to that, we found that there was um, less, that less trauma to the eye, and the eye survived the surgery much better with far fewer risks and complications. Well, we've now gone from that point that we've been able to use small incisions to reduce down even from the, uh, the three millimeter size down to one and a half millimeter and even uh, one millimeter uh, incisions that we can take and, and that also increases, further increases the, the uh, viability of the eye. The, the, cornea, um, the cornea itself survives that procedure much better than when it is the larger incisions. Now at this point in time, I think there's, uh, uh, aside from the university, um, our group is the only one that is doing the, uh, this small incision surgery because it is technically demanding and there is a certain degree of, of uh, learning curve. The horizons for eye care now are limitless. We have LASIK that we perform on patients to be able to reduce their need for glasses or eliminate them entirely. We can make lens implants uh, within uh, the place where the cataract came from or even in patients who have the need for a change in lens so that they can be able to see all of their distance, intermediate, and reading vision on their own. For those people who have had cataract surgery and lens implants previously that did not have that ability, we have newer lens implants that are becoming available. And we also have other interocular contact lenses that we can place inside patients' eyes to be able to allow them all these uh, ranges of vision. For people who have different disease processes, macular degeneration, there are lens implants that are becoming available that are, are like small telescopes that can allow them to enhance the available vision that they had. So it's the surgery uh, element of within eye and eye, eye techniques has really improved tremendously. When we do cataract surgery, we of course take the cloudy lens, which is the cataract. We go in, dissolve it, remove it, and we replace it with an artificial lens. That artificial lens for decades has been a single focus lens, meaning it sees a distance, but it doesn't see up close. With the use of multifocal lenses, we are now able to get vision for far away as well as up close, many points in between. And multifocal refers to having multiple points of focus, far away, up close, many points. And the single focus lens that we use in for decades in the past only has a single point of focus which is the far away distance.